Hello, stepfathers. Good morning. Today's topic is uh, something, in my opinion, very important because it is a breather for stepfathers. While most of you know that I am not a huge fan of natural parenting, I do feel that occasional disengagement is can be and should be <clears throat> approached because of its benefits. What do I mean by this? I mean that you don't have to spend all your life, all your waking hours on top of things, caring for the kids and paying attention and engaging and reacting to everything that they say and do because if you do that you will fall into the trap of wanting to correct everything that goes on in your house minute after minute and that is first of all not feasible not doable and it takes an enormous toll on you as a stepfather. What I recommend is when you feel overwhelmed, when you feel immense pressure, when you feel cornered, when you feel the water level reaching too high, my suggestion is to just disengage. And this doesn't mean mistreating people. That doesn't mean giving snappy answers because that is not disengaging. That is engaging in the wrong way. Disengaging means letting things go. Occasionally not caring about what is said. Occasionally not be willing to react. Occasionally letting things go the way they are the way they are going without you needing to intervene. Let it go. Don't listen. If you listen, don't care. Consciously pay no attention. It happened to a friend of mine a few days ago. His almost adult kid was mentioning something that was bothering him, but that was very detrimental to the kid at the same time. The kid should have let it go. And his stepdad, my friend, was feeling overwhelmed by needing to continuously correct the kid's attitude and this uh, dramatic responses and this uh, feeling of uh, persecution non-existent, by the way, that the kid was bringing upon himself, and he could have done one or two things. Argue with the kid, telling him to stop seeing things where things were not, or he could have just listen, nod, say, okay, I hear you, and not do anything about it. And that's what he did. I suggested that that is the proper reaction that he can every now and then put in place, and he did. He put it in place. And he found great comfort in this uh, temporary, temporary disengagement. He felt relieved. He didn't feel guilty because he knew he wasn't just giving up or not caring. He was just taking a breather and taking that breather didn't
make him feel like he was slacking as a parent. He didn't make him feel like he was not caring. He just felt correctly like he was taking a breather. And the funny thing, the kid actually snapped out of it on his own, he noticed, because he wasn't being engaged in his so-called fantasy. He wasn't being engaged in his delusion. He wasn't being challenged. He was just being let be. And at times, we have to let our kids just be. If we butt in everything, if we need to have a word about everything that happens in our house, that's our need. We are at fault because it is our need to engage, our need to control, our need to have a word into everything that happens. And that's unhealthy for the kids and for ourselves. Let's get a grip on ourselves, choose the battles that are worth fighting, and the ones that are not worth fighting, don't debate whether they're worth fighting or not. Just let them go. Let things be. Disengage. It is so healthy, it is so beneficial to let things slide every now and then that I highly recommend everybody at least give it a shot. Try it. It's worth it. It might work for you as well as it works for me and for many other stepfathers that I have helped in the, in the past. That said, stepfathers, have a great day. Cheers and Godspeed.